Don't forget, go check out Debbie Bubbles, Shiny on the Spot, and Gigi Fashions, and Loving Home Decor, and Lady Cinnamon. I'm joining in with the Daughters of Destiny today. As you can see, we have Gigi's Fashion, Lady Cinnamon, Debbie Bubbles, and Shiny on the Spot. All awesome, great channels. Go check them out. And I hope all of you go check out the playlist too. They're all awesome. Here is an Easter display for your enjoyment. Please let me know what you think about it. Now, I did buy one new item. I think I bought it about a month ago. But I've never actually shared it, I think. I could be wrong. I know I shared it in my shopping haul. But I don't count shopping hauls as... Um, I, can, I have to actually use it in a post like a display before I count it. It's free. So, it has been up once. I know I've shared it because I loved it so. And I don't think I use it at my daughter's. That's why I'm going to count it today. I think it was $12. It might have been $10. Uh, it, it, it looks like a McKenzie child piece. And as you see, it goes very nice with them. And that's another thing. You can look around and you can find pieces that look similar to a McKenzie Child, but they're not actually a McKenzie Child piece. And that's what one of these is. This is my cute little bunny here on her bicycle. Isn't she cute? And believe it or not, she's not a McKenzie Child, even though she looks very similar. She's not the same high quality, but the quality is still there. She doesn't look like she's from the 99 cent store. And don't get me wrong when I say that, because I do have some quality looking pieces from the 99 cent store that you would never know that's where they came from because they look so high quality. But let's move on. We're trying to spend a little more money for our display pieces and buy a lot less because we have storage problems. And like I said, if you buy quality pieces, as long as this doesn't get broke, it will last probably 20, 30 years. And this will always look good with my McKenzie Child pieces. And it's always going to look great for Easter. And we can redo it a lot of different ways and make it look new and refreshed. Just by changing the little accessories in the little egg. Putting it in a different display with different pieces. And maybe even next year we'll buy something else that will go beautiful with it. That is the whole idea of doing these kinds of displays. Sharing how you can repurpose, reuse everything you have. Now, everything here except for her, I've had for years. And most of my flowers I've had for a long time too. These are not new flowers. And I have a lot of them and they're really good quality as you can tell. And these are the same flowers I have a lot of them. I have boxes of flowers, boxes, because I have always, always made flower arrangements. That's one reason why I have so many. I have flowers that are 20, 25 years old. And if you buy good quality flowers and you take care of them, they'll last that long. You know, so sure, you can get a lot more at Dollar Tree, but you're better off to spend a little more money. Now, this I bought... I don't know, a year or two ago, at um, uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, I don't even know if I bought them on sale or just bought them because I love them. I've used them in lots of displays. They work beautifully with everything. And they're one of my favorites. And that's what I'm trying to say. Buy what you really love. We have a limited storage. And then reuse them, repurpose them, and use them in different ways. The herb pots are over a year old. These are air plants. They've had them a long time. I didn't buy them. My girlfriend gave them to me. And there's a couple over here too, to fill in spaces. And if you don't have a garden at Green Thumb, all you got to do with air plants is put them in the water once a week and you're done. You have no soil. You can put them in the house. You can put them in the garden. My girlfriend keeps hers out in her garden. Um, I leave them in my house because I have a tendency to forget to put them in the water if I don't see them. So that's why I do that. But I thought this turned out beautiful. What did you think? And of course, we already talked about this in the past. I got these little mushrooms and Cracker Barrel. They're really a salt and pepper shaker. I love them just the way they are. 
and I used them more for decor. I don't think I've ever had salt and pepper in them. Um, I also have these beautiful little accessories. I bought these used. This broke off from one of the little things I already had. So when you have little things that fall off, don't throw them in the trash. They make great little fillers, just like Grandma did. So just get a bag full of fillers, and that's what I do. And then I just go through and see what I like. And I especially love it when it's white, because white goes with everything. Well, what did you think? Grandma tried hard to put something nice together for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And I also hope you go over to our new channel, Blossom Your Creativity. That will eventually be all our home decor and DIYs will be over there. Everything else we do on this channel will stay where it's at. We will still have a post up almost every day on the old channel. And um, I'm not quite sure how many posts we'll have up on the new channel. But I'm sure there will at least be between uh, one to three every week. And there may be a lot more. Uh, the thing is, until you get busy doing stuff, you never know what you're going to be putting up. We all know Grandma, Grandma Sandy's sort of on the crazy side anyway. Um, I think I'm not going to be working much longer, and I'll have more time to put into my displays. And so we could easily, maybe easily have maybe five posts on each uh, channel every week. I don't know. We do about 30 to 40 posts a month already. So that's why I'm not quite sure how many we're going to do once we really get busy on both channels. Uh, but, I mean, there's, there's still going to be plenty. I'm sure you guys are not going to be bored. But I thought it turned out really nice. Let me know what you thought. And um, come on back and see what we're going to keep doing. i doing Alice in Wonderland the, for the whole month. I'm about one post behind because we had a funeral to go to this. Um, month and I was out of town for two days so we will uh, get caught up somewhere in this month so there will still be 30 posts now one or two of the posts may be over on the new channel uh, I'm not quite sure how many we're going to have over there we already have one so please don't forget to go over to um, blossom your creativity and see what that one it was a DIY project that my daughter did and it turned out beautiful and um Go check it out. we got to get these channels moving in a better and getting a little more watch time and make some new friends. Please tell all your friends about us. We'd love for them to start joining in. Well, i got to stop talking. I'll talk all day. Hugs and kisses to Grandma. From Grandma Sandy to all of you. If you're new, thank you for joining. If you haven't joined, think about it. We'd love to have you. Even if you don't want to join, please give us a thumbs up and keep coming back. Like I said, we have something new all the time, and you're never going to be bored on this channel. There's always going to be some kind of content up. Hugs and kisses, and don't forget to go to Blossom Your Creativity, our second channel. See you then.